How are you? So, uh, I know nothing about what I'm going to say to you for the next hour. Uh, I am not an expert uh, recruiter or, or uh, an helper of others finding jobs, but the qualifier is uh, I've run a marketing firm pretty much for about the last 20 years. And at one point, Holland Mark, which is my middle name and my original partner's middle name, uh, we were the largest independent agency here in Boston. So at the end of the 90s, 2000, we had about 250 employees. And, uh, and the point is, over that course of that the evolution, I, I interviewed a ton of people, and I hired a ton of people. And uh, last year, when we did the first career combine, I'm on the board of MyTex, uh, we started talking about sort of what would be relevant content, and somehow, some way, it came about that I, I offered to, to do a presentation on really how to, how to find a job. And so, um, hopefully, what I'm going to share with you is relevant and, uh, and uh, ultimately helpful to, uh, to you doing that. Um, so I'm old, I'm probably the oldest one in the room. Um, these are uh, remarkably interesting times. I have been through four recessions, count four. And um, you know, the good news is you always come out of a recession, but I'm gonna argue that this is, a, this, is, this is different. I have never quite seen a marketplace, an econ economic shift, uh, just a sort of social dynamic like we have experienced over the last couple of years. And um, there's a quote from a guy um, who runs Forrester that basically reinforces that. His name is George Conley. And he says, this is really not a recession. This is, this is a transition. This is, a, this is a, 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 a going through a portal from one economic era to a, to a wholly different economic era. And in my simple-mindedness, um, I look at it this way. 30, 40 years ago, our, our, our economy was largely an industrial economy where where we, we sold and purchased things. And then, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago or so, it shifted to, uh, we'll call it an information economy, where um, the currency really became more about access and transparency. And then, with the economic uh, shift of a couple years ago, um, I'm gonna argue we're now in what I call a value economy. And I'm gonna try to convince you that this value economy is not recession sort of determined, it's actually here to stay. Do anybody you familiar with sort of Japan's lost decade, that, that term from about 15, 20 years ago? I think that's kind of what we're facing, that there's a wholesale shift in how consumers think, how businesses think, uh, and, it's, and, and it's manifest in this idea of a, of a value economy, and specifically, that the buyers, the buyers of goods, the buyers of services, and the buyers of people employers are looking at their purchase decision with a whole other level of stringency and rigor and assessment in terms of does the purchase meet the expectation, does the purchase reflect a positive return on that investment. Another way to describe it, so this, I'm sorry for the sort of white out here, but this is a line, it goes down, and it represents economic sort of uh, positions, I suppose. So in a good economy, um, you're walking down Newbridge Street and you've got disposable income, you got your wallets full, and you see a pair of shoes, and you go, you know what, I just want to buy a pair of shoes, right? Just going to buy a pair of shoes. And then when the economy gets not so good, you put that purchase decision through a different sort of screen, and you, you say, you know what, I'm, I need that pair of shoes to complete an outfit that I want to wear to the company holiday party. So all of a sudden, the expectation, the return on the investment is at, at a minimum an influencing uh, factor. And then in a value economy or a bad economy, you only buy things that are imperative. You know, you need a pair of shoes that has, you know, good soles, right? And, and the task really for every brand, every business, every human being today is how to be imperative to the, to the purchaser that they're trying to attract to purchase them or it. Does, does that make sense? And so it's all a segue to say how, are, how do you the, how do you as a job seeker represent yourself as imperative to the buyer? And that's what I'm going to take you through.